Hey what's up, so today I'm going to cover all of Halo 5's armor mods in detail and I encourage you to briefly pause the video if you see a lot of numbers on your screen. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So first we have the advanced sensors armor mod, if you equip this your radar range will be increased from 25 meters to 40 meters. Um, you will not be detected by enemy motion sensors if you maintain walking speed, but if you do sprint, you'll still be detected. And if you pair this armor mod with uh, silencers and dampeners, then you can even fire your weapon and not be detected by enemy radars. The other cool thing about this uh, armor mod is if you zoom in or use smart link, your radar will still remain up even if you stay zoomed in. So that's very nice if you're in a tight area and you need those eyes in the back of your head to help you out. The other thing that this armor mod can be used for is if you use heavy vehicles like the Scorpion, Wraith, or Mantis, which are relatively slow and you're tired of people sneaking up on you, then the extra range will help prevent you being like, uh, I don't know, someone boarding you from the back and planting an easy grenade and getting uh, an easy kill on you, destroying your heavy vehicle. Next up we have Automatic. So here are the standard health and shield recharge numbers. You can pause the video and look at these numbers. But the total recharge time for a fully depleted health and shield is 7.17 seconds. With Automatic, uh, the cooldown, shield recharge, health recharge, they're all lower. So your fully depleted health and shield will recharge in 5.17 seconds. So 2 seconds faster versus standard health and shield recharge rate. So here's the standard speed, but if you compare it with the automatic speed, this is much faster. So the automatic armor mod works very well if you use it as a Warthog gunner, if you're using a gun goose, a ghost, or even if you're defending bases and armories where you're being bombarded by grenades and bullets. Next up we have Death From Above. So Death From Above boosts your stabilizing and it also increases the power knockback and velocity of your ground pound. So here we have the standard stabilizing, it's kind of weak when you last 2.0 seconds. But if we equip the death from above armor mod, then you'll have strong stabilizing and it'll last for 3.0 seconds. So check this out, he's going to be hovering for 3 seconds, that's very nice. Um, so here's the standard ground pound, it charges in 0.6 seconds, slower and weaker. And then with death from above, it charges in 0.3 seconds and it's faster and stronger. Now I couldn't do actual velocity calculation because I didn't have distance, but here's a comparative test to show you the speed. So the guy on the left starts behind, he has DFA, death from above. You can see he catches up to the guy that does not have the death from above armor mod. Next we have the upgraded shields armor mod. This armor mod will protect you against sniper headshots and also against the energy bayonet. So a standard melee attack will completely break your shield. So just look at the shield bar. Um, but with upgraded shields, after a melee you will have 22.2% of your shield remaining. Um, the same thing occurs if a sniper shoots you in the body, you will also have 22.2% of your shield remaining. However, if the sniper does get a headshot, you will only have 3.3% of the shield left. So here I'm going to demonstrate a body shot. This will be a body shot right here that's going to be 22.2% of your shield. And after this, the next shot will be a headshot and that will only be 3.3% of the shield. Keep in mind that Norn Fangs, Beam Rifle Deltas, and other one-shot sniper rifles are still one-shot kills. Next up, we're going to cover all the grenade armor mods. So the grenade experts, so frag grenade experts, splinter, and plasma grenade experts. If you choose these armor mods, you will spawn into the game with an extra respective grenade. And your grenade capacity will be increased to three grenades instead of two. So right there, I have three splinter grenades over the maximum of two without this armor mod. Um, to understand the Grenadier armor mod, we first have to look at the um, blast radius. So right now I'm just going to demonstrate the maximum blast radius for the frag grenade right there. Um, and then if you put on Grenadier, you're going to have more grenade damage and increased blast radius and take less grenade damage if you have this armor mod on. So right here, we're going to look at the blast radius. I threw that grenade at this guy and you can see at the same distance, um, the guy loses about 
slightly less than 20% of his shield versus um, not having Grenadier on. Next we have my favorite armor mod, the Reflex Enhancers, and what they do is they boost the speed at which you reload, switch weapons, and clamber by 33%. Um, you can also reload while sprinting. I really like this because I like having the advantage um, with the faster weapon handling so I can get an edge on my opponent in gun battles. Next we have the best armor mod for vehicles. It's called Wheelman. Um, Wheelman boosts your damage resistance and you also have a faster EMP recovery while using this. Keep in mind that Wheelman also stacks so the more people that have this armor mod on and are in your vehicle the more damage resistance you will have. It's very awesome. Um, unfortunately I can't quantify the, uh, uh, the damage resistance because of too many inconsistencies on the battlefield. But I can quantify the standard EMP effect which lasts about 3.0 seconds without Wheelman. And then if you do put on Wheelman, the EMP effect will only last 2.0 seconds. So that's a 33% decrease in time. Um, and that could be the difference between life and death in your vehicle. The next armor mod is Patrol Case. This one is relatively straightforward. If you equip this armor mod, you're going to spawn into the match with... Um, more ammunition and your, your maximum ammo capacity will also be increased. Keep in mind that this only affects loadout weapons and you will not spawn with more ammunition for your rec variant weapons. Um, so here's a demonstration. I have a SMG. It has 300 maximum ammo right now. And then if I equip patrol case, that's going to be increased to 480 bullets. Next up, we'll look at the Speed Booster Armor Mod. Um, this armor mod boosts your movement speed and your jump height. So here's a demonstration showing the difference in jump heights. Um, the Spartan on the right side has Speed Booster on, the one on the left does not. Uh, speed Booster will also give you uh, faster walking speed and therefore you'll have faster strafing, which is a nice defensive strategy to have if you're in a heated gun battle. Speed Booster also increases your sprint speed, so here's a demonstration, the Spartan on the right side, ahead, he has Speed Booster on. Next up we have the upgraded Thrusters Armor Mod, which allows you to have a faster maximum sprint speed and you can recharge your shield during sprint. Um, so here we can test the sprint speed versus Speed Booster and you can see the upgraded Thrusters is faster that was the spartan on the left side here i'll replay it again so you can see so the sprint speed order is upgraded thrusters then speed booster then the standard keep in mind speed booster has the fastest walking speed and the standard thruster evade the cooldown is about four seconds so 3.80 seconds but if you equip uh upgraded thrusters the thruster evade cooldown will be 2.80 seconds before you can do the next evade Next we have the final armor mod, Increased Strength, which boosts your melee strength, your Spartan Charge range, and your Spartan Charge damage. So a standard melee will only be powerful enough to break your shield, not damage your health bar, but with Increased Strength you get a 22.2% damage boost to the health bar. So look at the health bar compared to standard melee, you can see that's 22.2% more melee damage. This armor mod also boosts the range of your Spartan Charge and it increases the damage that your Spartan Charge does. So the way I calculated this was I set a trap for someone and then calculated the damage differences. Um, so this is the guy that I set the trap on. Um, I end up finding out that the increased strength Spartan Charge does 25% more damage to your health bar after it breaks your shield. Um, so I come out of thin air like lightning fast and kill this guy in one second. <laughs> But um, so this is the standard Spartan charge damage. It breaks your shield and does 50% damage to your health bar, well slightly over. And then with increased strength, this is what the Spartan charge, this is the damage the Spartan charge does. And that's 25% more damage. All right, that's it for armor mods. Um, there's a time and place for each armor mod. So thanks for watching and until next time.